everything I'll show ya So now I'm ready, I'm a blow up <laughs> Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. If you're new, then what are you saying? We're back with another Conan Exiles workbench stacking, and oh my god, we've done it. I, I said there will be another version. This one is absolutely fantastic. I mean, we're not doing no two story thing. This is the one story pro and expert players only. Now, when I say expert and pro players, it means you can look at design and I don't have to fill in the blanks. You already know what to do with the design. It's just something you can inspire from. It's really hard to use personally. And just for that, I think you need to take 10 seconds out of your time to hit that subscribe button and put on post notifications. You don't want to miss any future Conex videos now, do you? Especially with all the Cold War stuff we've got going off. There's Prop Hunt Arts Season 1. Oh my. It's going to be fucking interesting. But like I said, this is pro and expert players only. Now, I'm not trying to be a bit biased and say, oh, listen, if you're new, you can't use this design. It's just when you look at design, it's very limited. And a lot of players will look at this and be like, well, where's the carpenter bench? Where's this? Where's that? The thing is, when, when, you, when, you, when you're playing the game long enough, you can kind of look at certain things, have a few things, and you'll be like, listen, if we're on a boosted server, for example... I don't have to fill in the blanks, you can put a carpenter bench down and it's like, bam, cook everything up, it takes two minutes and you put it in a box, you don't have to get it back out for another two weeks, or until you're on a new server, that's it, whole time done. It's just one of those where it's, uh, it's quite difficult. <laughs> but yeah, the thing that we want to do is just literally copy exactly how I've done it. It was, do you know what, it was quite difficult trying to figure it out. I've always wanted to do a one story design with having pretty much everything. I wanted a blacksmith. That was very important. And I tried so many designs trying to put it in. The blacksmith just was not... It would go in, but then I couldn't fit the tannery in. And I couldn't or I couldn't fit the... Uh, there's just something I couldn't fit in. But we end up getting in the, the blacksmith. We've got a tannery. We've got an armor bench. We've got a cauldron. We've got a cookery. We've got a fridge. Do you know one of them? We've got a bed. Like, if you need to make jars, all you got to do is just get a bit of stone... Get yourself an artisan table, you stick it outside, you stick it in, you cook, cook the jars. It takes, what, two minutes on a booster server. If you're playing on an official server, now that's when you've got to be a little bit more careful. I'll, like I said, expert and pro players, it's it's one of those where I don't have to fill in the blanks, like I've said, like three times already. You kind of figure it out yourself, wherever you, you naturally build. Like me and Jack, we like we like building in the either the volcano or the jungle. Now, there's certain areas where we, we haven't actually put on YouTube yet. We like to keep them to ourselves. We're, we're comfortable of actually sticking workbenches. But we the way we design our bases, we've never actually done anything crazy where you have to worry about people rolling up. We've, do you know what? This is an actual craziest thing. We've never been raided, like, ever on Conan. Probably, like, twice. And that was uh, on boosted servers where do you know when you keep your loot on death you kill the person then literally they've got a bedroll like two seconds away and they just keep coming back with all the bombs on the body and you just can't do nothing <laughs> oh my god them lobbies are stressful i can't stand them ones they really do drive me insane like absolutely insane but yeah with this it's you can see that i did struggle with the bed for a bit and the whole thing this is not easy to design now what you see what i'm doing here is i did put the uh well the armor bench on the side it does make it a little bit more easier so you can kind of like balance yourself out so you can get like a little bit of knowledge so you know how much gap you've got how much room you need and it's like you can kind of work with adjustment so you see here the the bed's kind of favor i'll turn around put the thrall station facing towards the actual tannery which uh, i don't know why it does that but it's it's just one of those little weird things it's got like a, an invisible gap in front of it so it lets you push it a little bit further forward and you see there, I just put the armor bench right in between the gaps. So we're still doing the workbench stacking. Gives us room for spawning with the bed and moving back and forth. It's, it's pretty good. I did struggle here getting down the uh, the little fridge. <laughs> so all I had to do was just sprint against the wall and you can get a little bit high onto it. Now, if you're doing this, do not destroy the roof just because the... Uh, the the blacksmith and the armor bench is it they will not allow you at all to put a roof on straight after once you've finished so once you you've built it keep it down if you destroy your roof you'll have to pick all the workbench back up again and you have to put the roof down it is a bit of a pain in the ass but oh my god think of the places you could hide this like you could hide this on roofs inside massive dungeons anywhere just think of the possibilities of like a small design like this absolutely phenomenal 
absolutely loving it and we've got so much more stuff we've got videos on unlisted ready to upload it's uh it's gonna be pretty insane now if you enjoyed today's video make sure you hit that like button you've got anything to say feel free to comment down below you know me i get back to absolutely everyone and make sure you hit that subscribe button until next time i'm easy b